Hello beautiful people and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Yvette Renee and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe if you like my content. For those of you that are returning, thank you so much for coming back. So as you can see from the title, today is a Shein haul and I'm so very excited for this haul because this is literally the best haul that I have ever done of Shein. Um, I'm in my upgrade era. I am elevating my look, developing my personal style, and I think that these pieces are a great reflection of that. So not only am I going to show you the pieces that I got, but I'm also going to show you how I style them. Um, I find, you know, we, we, we can all see online what the piece looks like. We can all read the reviews and see to go, you know, should we get it? But I think styling is the challenging part for a lot of us, myself included. So I went ahead and did you a favor. I have styled them, shown you how I, how I styled them, and I will be including the links for everything in my description. So without further ado, we are going to jump into this video and I hope you enjoy what I have found. So first item, I got a pleated A-line dress. Now I will say I was very, very, very pleased and very satisfied. At first I was like, oh, I don't know how this is gonna look. But when I got it, I was like, yes. I love the fitted at the top, the flowy at the bottom, the pleats in the side. I think it, 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 it adds a nice detail. I love the texture of it. Um, it's like that in the front and back. It's elegant, but it's still flattering on the body, which is really what I'm going for with my looks. Elegant, but still sexy. I love the cowl neck. Um, it's very simple at the top, and I think the bottom does just enough. Now, I paired this with a sweater that I got from Amazon. I love that preppy look and some pearl heels, as well as a purse from Amazon. Very, very pleased with how this look came out, and all of these links will be in the description below. This next piece I got are some trousers. This look made me feel like a boss. I paired it with a silk satin top from H&M, some slingback pumps. I'm really on the slingback pump kick right now and the purse from Amazon. These trousers actually really surprised me. Like pants online, never mind Shein, I would think, all right, I need to get altered. It's gonna be too small. It's gonna look frumpy. It's gonna look crazy. I love the detail of these pants. Um, it is secured with a zipper and a button, so like a traditional pant. It doesn't have pockets, which I was a little disappointed about, but it does have belt loops. And I did not have to do any altering to this. It fit the waist, it fit the butt. And if you have a small waist and a, you know, a nice little some thighs and some butt, then you know that it is very hard to find something for your shape. Also, I love the lining on the inside of these pants. It gives me, it makes it feel more quality. And the pants feel great, honestly. I have no complaints about the quality at all. Now this next piece is a satin skirt. I am on my satin silk kick. I love the elegance of satin and silk and I have been filling up my closet with these pieces. This is another fitted at the top, flowy at the bottom. Mostly everything I got dressed and skirt wise in this haul has that fitted at the top, flowy at the bottom. It's flattering for the shape, but it still leaves something to the imagination. Now I paired it with another satin silk top. Um, I love the scrunch here. Now I have the shirt tucked in, which is why it looks a bit frumpy at the top. Um, it does attach, you know, or it secures with a zipper on the side. Um, I do like that the, uh, the, the back is elastic, but the front is not. So the front is like your traditional satin thing. And then the back has the elastic band, which I think is perfect. This is a size small. I'll leave sizes in the description as well. And just to take out my shirt for you guys, so you could see just how it looks, just the skirt you know, by itself, and then you can adjust to give that scrunchy, you know, yeah, that look, that look. Very, very satisfied, very, very pleased. And I paired this again with another satin top. I believe this satin top is from Fashion Nova. And I did something simple, did some white heels, and the uh, same Amazon, oh no, this is the brown Simbono purse. Um, I, I like the, I'm, I'm working on my capsule wardrobe, so I'm keeping everything neutral and everything black, gray, white, elegant, brown, that kind of vibe. Now this next one, I am going to give you a heads up. Not only am I in my elegant and sophisticated era, I'm still a 31 year old woman and I like being sexy. I don't mind showing skin. I think that you could still be sexy with a touch of class and elegance to it. Um, and I want things for date nights or a night out with the girls. You know, I still want to feel like, you know, damn, you know, that that's how this next piece makes me feel. So 
I got a black bustier cami. I also actually got this in another color. I purchased it from Shein before and I got so many compliments and feedback on the outfit. I was like, oh, I got to get it again. So I did get it in black with the black. I paired it with a blazer, some faux leather pants, black heels, YSL purse, kept it all black. But I think the blazer adds a nice touch of elegance. Um, it is supportive, adjustable straps, and it secures in the back like how a bra does all up and down. And this look, this is this is just a look to me, okay? So if it's your thing, girl, I'll get you that top, okay? Next up, I got this floral top and these trouser shorts. Now, just like the trouser pants, I was very, very pleased with the shorts. Um, I do like how it has the faux zipper button look in the front. Um, it does not, you know, it doesn't really have that. It's just the show of it, but it does zip on the side. Um, very, very flattering. I think not too short. I love that it fits the waist and the thighs and the butt without any alteration. And I got this in a small, I believe. I'm going to go through, everything will be proper in the description. I don't have it laid out in front of me right now. Um, but I love, love, love how these trousers fit. Very surprised. And the top, I think it's classy. It's elegant. It's fun for all ages. Um, I, it is see-through. Now, I do have on a tube top underneath. Um, these are pearl buttons. I have about four buttons. It doesn't button up all the way to the top. You can wear it open, but me personally, I think I prefer it closed. I think it looks cleaner closed. Um, and yeah, I, I was nervous about this top. But I was very, very pleased, and I even have gotten compliments from men as well on this top. Spring, summer, wedding, definitely giving what you would want it to give. And then I paired it with a simple heel. I tried to pick a purse to pull out the color of some of the flowers in the blouse. Now to keep it going with the flowers, I got this floral skirt. Um, again, fitted at the top, more loose at the bottom. This to me, it's innocent. It is still flattering. It, you know, grown women can wear florals. Uh, florals is touchy for me because I don't want it to look too corny or childish, but I really, really like how this fit. It does have a slip underneath, so no worries about anything being see-through. It is stretchy around the band. Uh, the band around the waist is stretchy as well. I love, love, love how this looks. I think, again, this is another piece. Floral can go for all ages, in my opinion. Um, and this is in a size small as well. And I paired it just with a simple basic white top and then I kept it simple with some white heels and a bag from Amazon. Actually the shirt, shoes, and purse are from Amazon and that will be linked in the description below as well. Now we're back to the sexy. This is another bustier cami top. This one is a bit more revealing than the black. You'll see how I paired it or styled it in a moment. I do like the details. I saw it and I was like, ooh, this is daring. It secures in the back like a bra, just like the black one does. Um, now I do like the gold accents in the front. I think that makes it nice and different. If you are scared of cleavage, don't do this top. Um, but you can also adjust the straps to give you more of a lift. With the boobs um I, I love and i love that the strap is thick very very comfortable very cute and then i paired it with a blazer and some denim jeans i think a blazer makes anything look sophisticated this simbono purse again i kept the neutral 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 tone i'm working on my capsule wardrobe right now and my style so i am trying to find the best colors that work for me and my elegant my elegant sexy housewife look basketball wife huh yeah <laughs> and we are back to covering up the boobies so I went again with another satin I tried to get as much much satin material as I could in this haul um, this is a halter top I like the details not tight in the arms at all not too loose in my personal opinion and then it secures in the back with these two buttons um, I don't have a bra on um, I did get my girls done two years ago so I don't wear bras however I would recommend a strapless bra with this and just to pull it out so that you guys can see how long it is what it looks like while it's out I think you can wear it tucked in or wear it out but with the trousers that I paired it with I decided to tuck it in so I paired it with a brown trouser um, and some Steve Madden and open toe heels and again this neutral purse I think every woman we, we need one of those statement bags and for me that neutral square bag is it 
And we're gonna end with a favorite of mine or another favorite, I should say. I love, love, love this skirt. I saw this on another company and then I saw it on Shein. I was like, oh, Shein got me. Now it is like this satiny material. It is pleated. Um, I did pair it with a satin top. Again, you see fitted, more fitted at the top, more loose at the bottom. Um, I This wasn't uncomfortable, it wasn't too tight. I think it was just the right amount of fitting. Um, I'm trying to get away from skin tight clothing, at least on the bottom, kind of, sort of. Um, I love the pleated material. I love the design. The blacks are a little off, but that, that doesn't bother me, and I don't think that it reflected through the outfit. I still think the outfit looked good around the elastic band. It's stretchy. This is a size small. Um, and I think it, it just looks it just looks great. I love this style when it comes to the skirts and dresses and then the detail at the bottom that lettuce look. I really, really like that. I really think that's elegant. And then I paired it with the simple open toe black heel, a black purse, kept it cute, kept it classy. Very, very happy. This is probably my second favorite outfit like I initially mentioned. So I know that was a quick haul, but I hope that that helps someone. Some of you might be looking for these vibes, these pieces, or you might have these pieces and just not really sure how to style it. Um, my thing is when you're doing like elegant pieces like this, you do the three, the, the three layer rule, I believe it's called. You just pick like a sweater or a jacket and an accessory. Jewelry also helps. I'm working on building up my jewelry as well. So I will definitely be bringing some of that to you guys, um, some recommendations on what I find. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope someone found it helpful and I will see you guys on the next video. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you would like me to do more videos like this. Bye-bye.